So guys, um, we are going to be building a RMC um, in this episode, um, and I'm honestly happy in how it came out. Um, this is, like I told you guys in the last episode, before I, I actually build a coaster, I come in and I build it, like something si similar to it, so I like have a basic, a similar idea like, oh this is kind of what I want. And I'm mostly doing it for this park, for the main fact that, 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 oh, I have very limited space. And this build, well, this coaster, mostly, I, I'm happy with it. It's just, it, it feels a little unrealistic, just for the main fact that, like, some areas you have to, like, kind of, like, remove the supports, which also gets rid of the iron bars, because it's... It would get too close to the people below, but yeah, I kind of hope that I wish there was a version where you didn't have the iron bars. Yes, I think you may need them, but I, who knows? Because yes, it is the iBox track, but it's for the fan. It's not for a family coaster. It doesn't go upside down, and you don't necessarily need this for a red word coaster. But if you, if if I'm wrong, please point it out in the comments. Um, but I'm. I'm glad with how this came out. It's small. It's really small. Um, I would classify it not. I would classify it as a thrill coaster, but I wouldn't classify it as like I would classify it as sort of the level of of I'm gonna say the wild the mock wild mouses, more specifically the well, ones with the bigger drop because the only one that I've seen with the actual drop at the start is the one at uh, Knott's, and that one just isn't good, like, like seriously, not good, but um, continuing. Um, this coaster is like less than a thousand feet long, but I guess, I think that's like, use it, like, okay, considering that, like, it is a small park, and it is a small, um, um, coaster. Uh, in the last episode, I mentioned um, how people should comment on what coaster should go next. That is not going to be in the next episode, if I'm going to build another, another coaster very soon. Because I think we're coming near the end of this park. It's either going to be the, the, ep the episode after next, or the, um, the episode, or two, three episodes from now. It's either going to be two episodes or three episodes from now. And, yeah, um, that's kind of all I have to say for now. Um, I'm gonna come back in a little bit, so don't just tune off right now. I'm gonna come back in a little bit and talk a little bit more about what I'm thinking about for the coaster. And, yes.
so for this build, I um, decided to go with something a little bit different. Well, not different, but it look it looks nice. Um, I, I don't know how I even started this. Um, I it's not what I planned on talk first talking about, but um, I decided for this coaster to go with this blue theme because it just it pops. It like it not pops, but actually it makes it sort more subtle. Actually, like instead of having like the red, like you see it, it's like oh, it just. It feels more mellow, and it feels more natural, and the train I like ha how I've done it. But um, let's move on to the next coaster that we're going to build whenever that will happen. Um, I'm either planning on making a, a like, well, here's the thing that I've had, I'm kind of having problems with. I, I, the only coaster I can think of that can fit in that plot it's like something like kind of like icebreaker, but I don't know if that's even gonna be able to fit with Planko scale. Next, I the one thing I can see fitting is a compact wooden coaster, but I really don't want that, and I want something big to put, finish off this park. I don't want, a, like I said before, I don't want like in the last episode, I don't want a Vekoma boomerang, and I don't want a get a floorless. Actually, well, a, B a small scale being in floorless. I want something like people write home about. Um, and I just don't know what that part, what that could be. If I have any ideas by the next time we s uh, will speak, um, I'll mention it. Or, but I really do highly suggest people um, suggesting coasters. And if you do and I end up using it, um, I will give you a shout out in the video that I built the coaster. But um, besides that, I'm just gonna go up back to not talking and let you guys listen to some nice music. And I'll come back um, near the end of the episode.
I'm sorry, I really don't know what to talk about right now. So I'm just gonna um, start to um, end off the video here. Um, I want to apologize that the music is going to fade out a little bit early and that is completely my fault. I totally forgot about the on-ride POV. So um, hopefully you guys forgive me. Um, this episode, um, was, like I said before, was recorded in advance, so I don't, like, well, not in advance, but, um, the commentary not in advance, the actual, like, video was recorded in advance, but we are now currently up to date, and, um, I, just commenting on what we're doing actually on the screen, I really like what we did back here, it just feels natural, um, if you guys could probably tell by this and my Alpine Slope series. Um, this is kind of my style. I have this more alpine-y, natural style, um, especially around the rides. I think it just seems a little more realistic instead of putting a bunch of cut-ups, but we are actually heading towards the end of the time-lapse. Um, I'm just going to stop talking. The music is going to start fading in a couple seconds, and enjoy the POV.